We are in Leipzig, in Germany, and exactly in Augustplatz, the city's larger square in Europe, where you can admire the main buildings of the city. The Oberhaus, the city Hochhaus, the tallest building in Leipzig, and the Augusteum is part of a Pauliner Kirche. All of them were destroyed in the Second World War. But there was one remained fully intact, and it was the Pauliner Kirch, the St. Paul Church. The East Germany government decided that it won't fit in on the socialist-oriented concept. So the building was denimited on the 13 May 1968. This cleared an area on which a sober DDR architectural style can take place. The St. Paul Church and the Augustelm represent the complex called University Church. The Gothic-style church dedicated to St. Paul was built in 1231 for the Dominican Monastery. From the foundation of the University of Leipzig in 1409, it serves as a university. Johann Sebastian Bach was the rector of music for 27 years. The church was part of a larger complex of medieval buildings, which together formed the Dominican Monastery of Leipzig. On 30 May 1968, under the communist regime and after the decision by the Socialist United Party of Germany and the university administration, Pauliner Kirche was denied to make a way for redevelopment of the university. Protesters against the blasting operation were arrested. Communist East Germany's demolition of Leipzig perfectly intact medieval university church in May 1968 was an act decried as a cultural barbarism across the two Germanies and beyond. Residents from every social background desperately hoped to convince their leader to step back from their brick. But as the dust cleared in the 1968, they saw with all finality that their voices meant nothing, that the DDR was a sham democracy awash with utopian rhetoric that had no connection with their everyday lives. A new building named Paulinum, it was built on the 2009 at the university main campus. It was designed by Eric van Egerald, inspired by the shape of the old church. Now I'm gonna take a symbolic piece of Pauline Arcasia to include in the Ingold sculpture. Now I'm back in Berlin and I'm gonna make the Ingold of Pauline Arcasia.